Hey guys, this is Ryan here from CNR Reviews. Um, this is a different Remington 870. Uh, I know you guys have seen me before with my Remington 870 that was Duracoated Combat Gray. Um, we've actually sold that one. Uh, we were at the range, a sheriff came up to us, loved the gun, wanted to buy it, and uh, gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. So I sold it to him and picked up this beast. This is the Remington 870 Synthetic 7 Round. So it comes from the factory with the two round extension on there. Um, nice magazine clamp on there too. Um, actually has a, a sling swivel which uh, comes in handy. That's something my old one didn't have. So um, first off it's a great gun. The Remington 870 is, is awesome. It's been very very reliable for me. Um, great action on it. Nice and smooth. I mean, it's just, it's, it's glass, man. It's, it's so nice. The only thing I don't like about it is, <clears throat> again, same problem I ran, ran into with the first one. Um, you look at this receiver and it rusts. God forbid if you get it wet, it, it just, <clears throat> it, it, it's horrible. We're actually going to end, oh, we're going to, we're, we're, we're going to end up duracoating this one as well. We're going to do it in black though. We're going to do it in a combat black rather than the gray. Um, I, I really like the look of this right now, so we're going to try to keep it as close to this look as possible. Um, I have changed a few things out on the gun. Um, changed the stock with a uh, Blackhawk Knox um, Spec Op stock. This is the NRS edition where it doesn't have the recoil reduction system. Um, adjustable stock on this. It has the power pack with the shell holder on it. Just a great stock. If you guys are looking for a good pistol grip, adjustable stock on this, check out the Blackhawk um, or Knox stocks. They're, they're, they're really nice. Way better than ATI. Yeah, it's way better than the ATI crap that I put on it first. It just fell apart. Um, the, the Knox has just held up so much better. Um, and it goes onto the gun a lot better, too. The, the bolt just attaches really, really well. Um, check out the review on that one if you guys want more information on it. Um, the forehand here I changed out to a Mako group um, forehand here. It's got a tri-rail. It's got two small rails on the side and then one on the bottom here. And uh, it's just really easy to, to, to change it out. This way you can put a, a pistol grip on the front um, with, a, uh, with a flashlight if you want. Um, here's mine here. This is a CAA that we put on. Um, goes on pretty well. Um, it just uh, it, it gives it more of a tactical feel. If you're if you're uh, wanting that either tactical or tactical, depending on uh, you know what you want to do with it. So um, right now I have it with this setup because it's a little bit more practical for shooting at the range and things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, this thing will run you standard with a Monte Carlo stock on it and the regular four end. It'll run you about 340 bucks. Okay, and that's at um, I, I paid 340 dollars at Sportco and Fife. Um, with this setup that I have right now on it, with the Knox stock on it, which is about a hundred bucks, and you got the Mako uh, forend here, which is about forty bucks on um, on Amazon, you're looking at about five hundred bucks for this setup right here. This exact setup that I have, about five hundred bucks. This little pistol grip is about sixty that holds the flashlight. It's about sixty bucks, and this is from CAA. Um, so you're looking at close to 600 after all your taxes are done and everything. So this is a pretty expensive shotgun. Uh, for just a pump shotgun, this whole setup is actually pretty expensive. I had all of this stuff from my old shotgun, so I was able to put it on very cheaply. Only, only It only cost me 300, 340 bucks for this shotgun. So if you guys are interested, in the factory extension rather than having to put an aftermarket one on yourself uh, and having to drill through it and all that other crap um, this is the way to go you pay a little bit more I think I only paid about 275 for my regular Express and this is about 340 with that extension on there so you're gonna pay about 70 bucks more um, and uh, uh, yeah <laughs> so um, one of the one of the problems that I had with this gun though I was super shocked to, to find myself running into this problem. I couldn't fit seven rounds into, or, or six rounds into this magazine tube here. Um, this is supposed to take six rounds and then one in the pipe. That's where they get the seven rounds from. 
Uh, the normal is four and one, which would make a five shot, two round extension, seven. Okay, so for some reason, the spring that came in, that came in this from the factory would not let me put the full six rounds in. Even after I cleaned it, trimmed the spring back, I trimmed the spring back so much it actually rattled in here and it still wouldn't let me load it. Something was just wrong with that spring. So I actually ended up changing out the follower. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. The follower and the spring with a Wilson Combat scattergun technology spring and follower and that fully let me put all six rounds in here um, and it, it's been working flawlessly. Um, 100% better than the factory um, little orange follower and the factory spring that went in there. It, they just didn't want to let me load that, that last round in. Uh, this lets me load it perfectly and it, it functions flawlessly. So if you guys run into that problem, check out the Wilson Combat Springs. Um, they, they, they work really well. But otherwise, the gun's been really good. And after I fixed that problem, um, it's, it's, it's been great. We've taken, taken it out to the range multiple times, shot skeet with it. Uh, you guys can see that video. We were shooting skeet out in Ashford, and it, it, it worked great. Um, so if you guys are in the market for a shotgun that already has the two-round extension on here and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, check out the Remington 870 Express Synthetic 7-Round. Um, it's, uh, again, around 340 bucks, and it, it's a great buy. So... Um, if you guys have any questions, let us know, um, and you guys can see some more videos on our channel. Thanks for watching. This is Ryan from CNR Reviews.